Lawson. He's either, I think he's Alpha Tori or he's Alpine up and. David! Stream died! That we're back. Right, be fair, stream, ladies and gentlemen, we should be okay. Just, I'll need to do that myself. There we go, we're back. So, anyway, to answer Silver Sea Boy's question, a safety car is going to be back in the end of this lap. I don't think they'll. I don't think Alpha Tauri will, will replace Nick DeVries. I think on his day, Nick is a very, very good driver. He showed that multiple times, last, at least last season in the Williams at Monza, and he deserves a chance. Not been a good start, but Alpha Tauri don't have a bad car. We'll tell it. No, they have a bad car this year, and it's just down to if they can extract everything out of it, which is going to be difficult. But I'll pass back over to David for the safety car restart. Yep, um, just a quick one for Gary. Um, I think absolutely AlphaTauri can be brutal, and I, I'm sure they will be brutal soon enough. But let's have a look at AMS Drive's start. Is he going to go off the last corner? He does midway through the corner. It doesn't quite catch Sam. Oh, oh. Death Classic taxes house. and you know the rest. Yep, yeah, but there's a few drivers with a good start there on the restart. Looks like Jock made up position. Magusa was also looking feisty into turn one. He sits behind Ermine, who finds himself up in P3. We are not yet halfway through this race, ladies and gentlemen. And... Well, plenty of excitement to come as Ads getting past Raza and just about room left. Raza trying his best to not lose any more, but he has lost a little bit of his rhythm. And he needs to get back to it as soon as possible, especially with these drivers behind on the, the pressure medium tyres. As Dynamo Dan getting past, having a little bit of a ding dong with Cormac who is thankfully up back on the lead lap as uh, yeah Dynamo Dan is looking like he wants to take the position back but let's have a look into oh is Alpha, Ta uh, Alpha Romeo's Civil War Colin and Calero yeah. coming together oh I was thinking about it surely not here oh, oh he gets shown the door by his teammate there that's brilliant racing from these two, it really is. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll have to ask after the race because that didn't quite look like the respect that should be shown by teammates. And I know these guys are in a party together. But surely they're screaming at each other at this point. <laughs> Colin covering <laughs> off the inside. Racing for their lives out there. The uh, Cormac dives into the pits well he was in the pack for all of one lap oh, shocking stuff collateral ads what has he got to do to get past his teammate here he's got the three second penalty surely it's just damage limitation at this point oh Raz and Henkers getting getting the elbows out yeah Henkers gonna try and go around the outside there's been some contact and Raza has to concede the position as Oh Colin Collins absolutely sent it up Raz's inside. He will not thank him for that. Oh, oh no! Was was that a tap Ads. behind from Collateral Ads? I think Ads tapped him into the Fucking wall. Fucking safety car <laughs> ah. <laughs> I'm the arrow mark, ladies and gentlemen. Let's do <sighs> I spy with my little <laughs> a clown in the top left. Uh, yep, and the clown, of course, who once upon a time said, he "Oh, was going to race Nigel, tonight." <laughs> hey, Nigel, oh, getting oh, it all here in. we go. <laughs> <laughs> Nigel's on a spending spree. Yeah. Right, and Jake's doing another truffer truf there to me. So on the safety car. I had a dare last, last time for Mr. Monkey Boy. Let's go for the truth. Do you feel victimised? It seems like everything's yeah. going your way. 
Clow ads in the pits. Ha! <laughs> I wish it did go my way last night, put it that way. And, right, Jake, truth, please. Do your worst. And Nigel, who's that uh, redemption to, by the way, for the for the quote? Yeah! You, well, over to you, David. Absolutely. Uh, let me just ping off a just, couple of these. <laughs> just, he's he's getting he's getting the vote. He's getting it prepped and ready. Just yeah. taking a twitch swig, twitch swig, clear the throat. Off well, I've you got go. to take the I've got to take the one I want to do first. Clearly, um, <laughs> I say that <laughs> I really don't give a fuck. <laughs> Zero fucks given. I will say whatever within reason on stream. So um, that, that's where I stand on that issue. And as a homage, homage in homage, homage to, to Gary. I'm just gonna have a quick word about the um, this guy at the front of the pack and. It seems like he's been there the entire race. Well, actually, he has, hasn't he? Um, oh well. And he's he's really picked up his uh, really picked up his game. And yeah, he's he's looking like he could finally have the pace to get himself the um, get himself a world championship here in FPRL with ads down in P11 languishing outside of the points well could this be the chance for the one the only AMS drive ooh daddy fair drag that one out there <laughs> and in that time Jake actually has a pretty reasonable question for our for a truth or dare saying what is your biggest regret cruiser ah uh, that's if I have to pick a regret, not the biggest regret, just a regret off the top of my head. Um, obviously, younger, you're into football and all that crap like that. Um, I was a bit of a wet wipe and I quit the soccer academy because I was a very, very big softy. Put it that way. <laughs> Nigel, I... Um, in some instances you can think that, but that's not true, as... Oh, Josh and Rob, what's going on here then, gents? Bit of changing on the safety car? Shocking stuff. Yeah. Anyway, like I, like I was saying, yeah, I was a wet wipe. I was. I... Right, it, was, it was an interesting shelter, put it that way. It was, it was, it was interesting. Yeah. Has Piggle given us his safety car question? Oh, has. that's weird. No, not yet. <laughs> oh, it's still time. Me. It's still time. Jake's saying, I just love how you say it. Um, well, I can't help that I'm half Scottish, but I'm, I'm Scottish, but I've got the most British woman accent possible. I'm too proper. Yeah. So, Piggle wants a Baku sprint top three and the race top three. Uh, do you mm. want to take this one first, Cruiser? That's why I took the last. Ah, uh, go on, sure. So for the sprint race, I'm going to go... Third place will be... Stroll. Second will be... Verstappen. And winner of that race will be Checo. Onto the race, it will be Checo to win. Alonso second. And Stroll gets third. All right. Fair enough. Um, so, sprint for me, uh, the stap and win. Um, Checo second, and I'm gonna go for a Russell P3. Uh, as for the race, I'm gonna go a the stap and win again because, yeah, I'm gonna say. Checo's car's going to have issues in the race, so taking P2 was going to be a very unlikely uh, Lewis Hamilton, and in P3 will be Fernando Alonso. Anyway, we are and... back racing. Ooh, we're off! 
and it's been a bad start from Sam Geno. Ermine is looking around the outside, but he's put some ERS down. Has Sam to fend off the position. Splitter Flipper getting very feisty with Colin, and it looks like he's made the move around the outside, and Colin's hit the wall. Oh, oh. Oh, Colin. You know, Mad User and Airmine having a bit of a right battle here. Up for third. Mad yeah. User to the inside, breaks a bit later, gets the elbows out, just about avoids contact. But Airmine now up into third. Yeah, and further back, Drepo fighting with Henkers. Enough space is given, but like so often we've seen before, Ads able to follow. Trepo through and Hinkers losing out two positions in as many corners. Oh, is it all getting messy into the hairpin? Oh. The Ads have a better drive than Drepo. He does not. Drepo is going to be right on the back of Splitter Flipper, who has his line perfectly into there to ensure no dive bombs were made. Lateral lads, what a move. Oh, I missed it, sorry. I'm, I'm clipping that. That oh. that was a beautiful move. Around the outside, at the end of the Esplanade Bridge. Oh, Cormac's gone! Cormac's Minus gone. one front wing at Mercedes. Yeah, and there was Nails Pollard for company. He there we just, go. He just wanted no wing racing. Keep... He wanted to keep Colin company. <laughs> oh, they're racing into the pit lane. <laughs> oh, oh no, Colin's, Colin's got it. Right. And through goes, goes <laughs> through goes Cormac. What a move. <laughs> oh dear. Right, 11 laps to go then. 12 laps to go, whatever, who cares. Sam Geno still six tenths behind AMS Drive. Where have we seen this before? Oh yes, pretty much every other lap of this race. But Ermine <laughs> has slipped back 1.5 seconds the gap. Collins coming out on the soft tyres. Cormac on the hards, looking to go to the end. Colin just looking to have a little bit of fun as the yellows are out. Is it? Oh, Cormac. Cormac, oh dear. Uh... <laughs> well, looks like these are going to have a good race for like five corners. Yeah, but in a few laps time when Colin's tyres die, he'll come zooming back. Now, I want to see Colin try to go the end on those softs. I really want to see a big boom. What are we looking for? This, 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 uh, this, I can't even get my words out. This train of cars from dropped down towards Henke's. And we know what happened last time there was a gadrel like that. Yeah. They're all very, very close to each other. All less than half a second from the guy in front. As DRS now enabled on this lap. We see the gap between Colin and Cormac getting above a second. At least for the moment. So those guys are not quite going to fight the way that we hoped. But keep an eye on this. Because it could very well come to a battle for the wooden spoon at the end of the race. Is anyone going to get close enough? Looks like Ads is burning some ERS. And is he going to look up the inside it. of Drepo? Drepo locks up slightly, but holds it around the outside and maintains the position. So all that ERS usage for no gain from Ads, he's going to have to think of a better strategy. Although he does have slightly more than Drepo. So let's keep an eye out later on in this race. Jock is the head of the train at the moment. Cormac is one with the wall. Oh dear. On the pit, uh, on the uh, last corner, which is... Oh, it was Flipper. Flipper and Ads making a move. Yeah, or oh, Ads contact with Drepo. And he has to concede position. Split a flipper then. Unable to make the move on Rob Kelly. Rob Kelly is just 
got to settle down, get a couple of good corners behind him as... Oh no! Drepo lost it. Oh, uh, not again. Drepo and Ads have he come got snap together. snap and delighted Ads. Oh. I don't think that was anyone's fault, to be honest. Just a very unfortunate situation there for Drepo and for Ads. Both of them are front wind damage, and I think that's both of them out of, this, out of the running for at least getting points in this race, unless anything happens up in front, which, to be honest, anything can happen. Yep, same old story at the front. We've got AMS Drive leading from Sam Geno. Less than half a second in it at the moment. AMS Drive down to around 30% ERS. Sam up in 76 so it's looking like it's going to hot up towards the end because I think we know that Drive has got another gear. As, oh no, Drepo's lost it. Oh, Drepo. It's just not been his knee, has it? It's, it's not as... Oh, and another front wing lost for Mr. C. Davies. He's going through as many front wings as Man City have scored against Arsenal. Yeah. And uh, maybe now then Drepo... Sorry, I had to bring that up. <laughs> I had oh, no intention dear. to bring it up, I just had to say it. Yeah, oh, Colin. Oh, oh, Colin. oh. oh crap, he's Did... out for me. Right, I'm off. Oh. Shocking. Right, Jake wants to know a truth or dare. I'm going to say a uh, truth, sir. And while we wait for that to come in, let's keep an eye on the top. Um, and Sam able to save even more ERS across this lap. Uh, Sorry about that. Just if I'm going to say anything here, though, all the top four are on medium tyres that are 11 laps old. By the time we get to the end, it will be 19, 19 laps, I think on their tyres, but Jock is on a set of hard compound tyres that have gone the same distance. But I think Jock, in around the final four or five laps, if he can just hold off here against Rob, who sends it against the Williams, just doesn't make it work out though. Oh, lad, that's not going to help you, cause. Oh, wow. But like, like I was saying though, don't sleep on Jock, he could pull a surprise at the end, at the end of this race. Yep, he just needs to stay in touch with these drivers. Of course, the, the gap at the moment, three seconds. But I reckon 11 laps is around when the mediums will start to really drop off as Drepo's back in the pits. And he's had And it's enough. game over. Not a great return then tonight from Drepo. I'm lucky to you, sir. Jake, where's my truth? <laughs> he didn't expect it. He had like 20 lines of theirs written up. Right, the question is, if you could be any celebrity you want, what would you be? I assume he means... Who Actually, no, he, say, he said, what celebrity? So, uh -oh. and, and what would you be? I would be... Oh, Rob's made a mistake. I would be Kermit the Frog. Kermit the Frog. Okay, he's not who. Okay, let's not be Kermit the Frog. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Alright, try again. Yep, if I could be any celebrity, I think I would be... It's not a question you get asked a lot. Um... <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Um, I'll be with you in a second um, <laughs> while I Google something. Um, so ho hold on to that thought. Um, hey, quick... yo. We're yes. live here. We are. We are indeed live. And I, I'm bottling it. I'm absolutely bottling it. <laughs> You would learn how, how, to, how, to pronounce the, how, how to pronounce said celebrity's name. But anyway, while David goes off to do that, lap 24, going on lap 25 of 31 here in Singapore. AMS Drive leading from the off and still hasn't relinquished the lead just yet, but Sam Geno looming large towards the stages 
closing stages of the race. Ermine up in third, but with a penalty looming large over the head of that Alpha Tauri. So Mad User just has to stick within three seconds and they'll find themselves on the podium. Flatter Lads up in P7, but six seconds in time penalties is going to really haunt the Alpha Romeo driver, but currently is still on for a points finish as long as they don't get any more um, any more penalties to their name and they run a risk and as well I'm going to twitch out here towards Splitter Flipper up in 6th he was dead last at the opening lap boxed twice in the early stages one for new tyres another one was to get a front wing change and, an, and put an older set of tyres back on and he's found himself back up in 6th challenging even for a top 5 so Flipper really putting on a good display here as Sam getting ever closer to AMS Drive and that battery light on the Alpine is starting to blink so AMS Drive is really starting to struggle here with six laps left to go. Yeah, Sam looks like he could be smelling some blood. Smelling blood? Tasting blood. What's the saying? I don't care. Either way, there's Cormac Regardless. moving out the way and I will now jump in with an answer to Jake's question as I would be uh, probably Ryan Reynolds um, for, for a multitude of reasons up the Wrexham one I, I absolutely love um, his ownership of um, oh oh, oh Cormac um, yeah <laughs> I, I love I love the story and how connected he's become with Wrexham not just the football club but the but the city um, and I really, really, uh, I think that's really cool. Um, secondly, he's obviously a very good looking man. I'm not saying I'd go gay for him. Oh, Sam, he's going for it. He's looming large uh, there, AMS Drive. We'll, Look out. We'll have to keep an eye out into this next DRS zone. Um, yes. So secondly, very good looking man very good actor and thirdly and most important he absolutely used to be married to Scarlett Johansson and oh, this, this is Sam's chance he's going for it now yeah up the inside into turn five shows drive a oh, little bit wide him. and drives back up the inside but Sam's oh he pulled out Great of that defending. one yeah Bit of elbows out from both these drivers. Sam is looking feisty, but he has used up half of his ERS in that attempt. So will he wait another couple of laps, or will he just uh, will he just try and go whole hog in the rest of this one? I suspect he will do the former. And yeah, there you go. He's uh, back to conserving some ERS and drive is presumably going to try and do the same, although very hard to do when you're in the lead. Let's look further back. Let's give an update on Jock, who is now 3.5 seconds behind Maguser, but we need to really keep an eye on that gap because 14 lap holds, five laps to go. Those mediums are not going to be good. Even under, even if half of those laps were safety car, which they weren't, I reckon they'd still be getting a little bit worse to wear. Got a leader graph pick up right now. Jock 8.1 seconds behind. As collateral adds, he's backed off of the of the medium sprint to the end. So that could be an idea as to what these drivers are having to go through. Meanwhile, Sam. Having another bite of the cherry here against AMS Drive. It was the inside last time. It's the outside this time for the Red Bull. But once again, AMS Drive holds strong. But Sam with the cutback now around the outside into his turn six. AMS Drive holds strong again. Oh, and Sam, he's, oh, he's lost that. Oh, Just, Sam, no. Oh, Sam. Just needs to be careful while his tyres cool down. Oh, he's lost something, it. Something had to give. And Sam gave out against the MS Drive. He should still be on for a podium here if he keeps it clean. Of course, Ermine now in P2 with that penalty. Let's have a look just to confirm. It's a three second penalty. So Ermine looking like he's going to drop oh, out of the points at the moment. Flipper. Flipper's got by Josh as well. Completely, completely went unnoticed there as well. Yeah. 
so split a flipper up into P5 and clearly those 16 lap old mediums not doing too bad for Splitter and yeah he's having a monumental comeback in this race oh <laughs> well held jock that was absolutely fantastic to catch that on camera was brilliant control yeah as uh, we enter lap 28 for splitter flipper there's gonna be just four laps left to go ams drive still leads but now unopposed seemingly as Sam's mistake on corner exit the previous lap proving fatal to his chances of grabbing the win here today. Hydration time for the lolly. Absolutely. And while Dave is doing that, lap 28 in Singapore and currently looking at the leader graphic actually collateral ads is on right now for p9 despite his time penalties and ermine the other driver on a time penalty three seconds for the alpha, alpha Tauri driver at least so far currently he's got a two second gap between himself and sam Geno. so sam could still be on here for p2 if he can catch up and pass mad user but with sam draining that battery fighting against ams drive that mistake could really haunt him in the final three laps of this race. Meanwhile, AMS Drive, 3.3 seconds clear of Ermine, and he's just got to keep it out the wall now, does the Alpine driver, and we know the consistency AMS Drive has on offer as well. Yeah, as we get towards the, uh, the final stages of this race, medium tyres seem to be the one for today's race. And they're really, they're not going off as much as I thought they would as Jock. Although Jock is marginally, uh, he's managed to keep up with Splitter Flipper, whose tyres are notionally one lap older than those in front of him. I don't know, I just, I, I can't help but feel like there's a, um, it's a twist in the tail yet to come with just two and a half laps remaining at this point. Cormac the gap. in the pits again. The, the, yeah, kind of sums up Cormac this evening, to be honest. But the gap now between AMS Drive and Jock, despite all that fighting that AMS Drive had with Sam, it's now 9.1 seconds, so Jock has actually lost time to the Alpine driver, and I think now that gap, three seconds between Ermine and AMS Drive, it's just tyre management now for the Alpine to the end, while Ermine's got a really pushier to keep ahead of Mad User and Sam is caught right up to the back of the Mercedes. Yeah, we'll flick to the leader graphic at the moment so we know Ermine is going to lose three seconds here and that would take him down into P4 only, which is not the worst result in the world, but I think, I think uh, he would much prefer a podium. We've got Sam Geno now onto this train as will he manage to get the, the most of the double slipstream on the next lap we're we gonna see a double overtake from the red bull it's a big ask but it could very much happen and away we go the penultimate lap sam not quite anywhere near close enough through turn one but he catches very handily through Turns two and three. Now the tricky right hander onto this long back straight. Sam is not. He's not using ERS. So I think I think maybe he knows um, that you know he's not much going to happen. Oh dear. United yeah, I, I don't, don't want to look at the chat, David, but yeah, United balled it badly. Oh well, at least we didn't lose 4 1 to City. <laughs> I suppose. But but you, you're drawn with Tottenham after bottling a 2 0 lead. Yeah. So I don't know, don't know what's worse there. The bottlers. Yeah. Only United. Yeah, well, Colin, nice of you to turn up Hold in the on. chat just to. Just just to wind you up, but yeah. look at the gap between Airmen and AMS Drive. 
that gap's getting a lot closer. It's now 1.8 seconds with getting near the final lap. Well, I think Drive could very well have just um, cooled down a little bit, maybe. maybe I don't know. Maybe a bit easy on his tyres. This it could be heartbreak in this final lap for someone. It could be the gap 1.5 seconds, so we can't... So we see that there's no fra uh, flashing light for uh, for fuel on AMS Drive. He's not having to save any. But he is pushing out of corners. We'll keep an eye on that. The gap's still 1.5 seconds. Sam, a little bit closer this lap. He needs a really good exit here in order to get the move. Uh, at least on the cards, but he's not going to be close enough as the drivers in front flash their red lights. Sam looks so comfortable riding those curbs. Yeah, nothing doing for the Red Bull driver at the moment. Looks like Amos Drivers bucked his ideas up that gap now, back up to 1.7 seconds. And Magusa doesn't need to make the move. He's not going to get any closer towards the front, so I'm sure he'll just sit there for the rest of the lap. Uh, let's have a look further back as Jock is now firmly on the back of Splitter Flipper. Is he going to have a look into the braking zone? No, he does not, but he is going to possibly get the better drive. It's going to be really Really tight finish between these two. You can see Splitter Flipper clearly struggling on these tyres and Jock just doesn't quite have the, the traction to be able to take advantage. Um, but we're going to watch AMS Drive come round the last corner on the last lap and across the line goes AMS Drive. What a performance. He led from start to finish AMS Drive. What a race from this man. It's pole, not the fastest lap, but pole in the win. He will be happy with that. In P2 then, we've got Magusa. P3, Sam Geno, Ermine P4. Dropping down after that three second penalty. Splitter Flipper takes home a very decent P5. Didn't quite win, but I'll tell you what, you won a few hearts tonight. That comeback drive, magnificent. Jock taking home P6, running an alternate strategy, and in the end, didn't quite come back to him like he thought it might at the end, but he's, he's doing all right. He's doing all right, P6. Rob Kelly picking up P7, then, as... Henkers picking up P8 in the first of the oh. Ferraris. <laughs> yeah, adds taking a interesting line to the final corner. The shortest line to think steal the final lap, but fastest lap back from Cormac. Yeah, fraudulent. That that would have been Cormac's one redeeming thing <laughs> from this evening, but Ads had to take it away from him. Oh. Uh. I don't know. Well, that, that, like that, that was that was a good race. I mean it was despite what it was. Race. Well it's better than what we've had, put it that way. But still, I think really AMS drives, that's I think one of the single best performances I think I've seen in commentary. That was absolutely not tell I if he did get fastest lap that would have been perfection, but that I think was precision from the Alpine, who takes a victory in Marina Bay. Magyusa takes second, and Sam Geno picks up third for the Red Bull. Started third, finishes third. And I'll get them in for post-race interviews while we wait for the game to do its thing. Yeah, and um, while the game is doing its thing, well, I think it's, it's a good idea to acknowledge the drink from Splitter Flipper. Fantastic drive from that man today so thank you very much sir and there was also a drink nine minutes ago from jake i can't remember if i took that or not i'm gonna take that as well because i'm greedy <laughs> go for it 
I've got to finish. Got to finish the bottle somehow. <laughs> Go for it. Yeah. And in other news, um, Newcastle won. Quite badly. Yeah, everything are going down. Sorry to any proud. Sorry to any proud Evertonians, but you're fucked. Oh Jesus! Newcastle, two games, ten goals. You take that, didn't you? Well, it's better than what they've done the last few years. Put it that way. Yeah, absolutely. Looking at like a really good season for Newcastle. Can they break the top four? Well, it's looking ever so likely at the moment. They currently sit in P3 on 62 points. Um, of course, a game extra played over Man United in P4. But Tottenham, with this draw, looking like they're going up to P5. Shocking. Okay. I can't believe United have bowled that. Absolutely cannot believe it. Ooh, I've oh, I've gone to Rackington TV. Bear with oh, me. Oh dear. Back to Xbox, please. Thank you, TV. Ah, there we go. There we go, laddie. Um. Okay. What am I doing? What am I doing? Show him. Show. Um, brain, engage. Ah, oh. <laughs> oh, that Jade race is over, it's done. This man has it in for me, I swear to God. It's just a word. Right. Two, two words, right. There, technically. Right, well, well, we know what we're doing then for, um, for P1. Yeah, I'm looking forward to next time Jake is on comms. <laughs> I'm sure you do as well. Yeah, I'm not evil though, so... Unfortunate. I shouldn't really be saying this, but I've got this tomorrow as well, so... Double disaster. Anyway... On to the interviews for our podium tonight. Yeah, usual deal. Um, you do P3, P1. <laughs> I'll do P2. Sounds Very well, fair. and... Yeah, seems fair since I've got redeemed, almost forced to, to interview P1. Anyway, we move over to our third place driver tonight, that being Sam Jenner. Just want to make sure that you can you can hear me, okay, Sam? And we can Absolutely, hear you. Absolutely, I'm here. I'm here. Yep. That's great. And obviously, you gave famous driver a good run for his money tonight, and unfortunately, it just didn't quite work out for you in the final few laps. But still, third place after what was a pretty Pretty hectic race. I don't think you, think you can be too upset with that. No, absolutely not. Yeah, um, had a great race with Drive. I mean, we were neck and neck the whole time, and then yeah, just spun it on dead tyres. Unfortunately, is my bad. Um, but no, it was really intense, really sweaty. I'm gonna have to get a shower for this, that's for sure. Um, but uh, yeah, I was kind of on my back foot anyway going to quali just because um, yeah, Jensen was in uh, Fairyland or something. I don't know. <laughs> but um, I had one lap there and was managed qualified P3 and then just finishing P3 so I'll take that. Yeah still and also going back towards um towards qualifying with it being a fairly mixed up grid did that um did that worry you a little bit as to who was as to who was behind you in the grid. Obviously AM, um AMS Drive taking the pole position by quite a margin as well so surely that must have had you a bit worried as well. Yeah, a little bit. I know, um I think it was Jock as well starting the medium so I knew he'd come kind of pull through as well so I was like been attacked from all angles, but um, yeah, I just kept myself to myself. Um, didn't try anything uh, too damn there, and um, yeah, I just came home with a P3. I'll, I'll take that. And uh, last question, bit of a tradition, I think, in FPRL. Um, <laughs> next week being Japan, as I think we've got a little spectator in the background who seems to be pretty happy with your result as well. But still, Japan next week, and surely you've got a bit of momentum going into that track as well. Yeah, yeah, obviously it's still just a reserve, so if I can get a seat next week, it'll be fantastic. Just, uh, yeah, just going to try my best, have a bit of fun. Um, there's always a bit of fun in FBRL, so uh, yeah, look forward to it. And there we go, and that is our P3 driver this evening, that being Mr. Sam Geno. I'm sure David will agree in saying congratulations to you, as I'll hand over to Mr. Lowface for our P2 driver this evening, that being Mad User. 
Yeah, thank you, Cruiser. And of course, well done and unlucky tonight, Sam. In the end, great battle between you and Drive. But yeah, it's just things to happen sometimes. Um, so, <laughs> Maguser, congratulations. It's a P2. Uh, How would you feel about that? Oh, that had me sweating through the last half of that. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was a good recovery drive. Obviously, binned it in, in Q2, so started on the back foot and a bit of a messy start to the race. Um, but after the second safety car, kind of got my act together and tried to uh, stay with the top guys. Yeah, and uh, yeah, the, the, the two guys at the top were absolutely mighty today. Um, a little bit of fortune about getting P2 in the end, but it was um, something well fought, I think, uh, and like you said, plenty of plenty of um, comeback drives happening today. Um, what point did you uh, really think that you'd be able to claw it back? Was it was it a case of just head head down and uh, get going, or was it a little bit of fortune? Uh, I think it was a bit of both, really, because obviously the unfortunate of Sam spinning. Um, but obviously that gave me the opportunity to try and chase P2 because obviously they had a penalty. So it was, it was more of a P3 was probably on the cards after the penalty. But yeah, it was it was very lucky, <laughs> I'd say. But um, yeah, it was a good drive. Yeah, it was indeed a good drive and a, a pretty good race for Singapore. Um, but on to next week, we are at Japan. What are your thoughts on the track? I know there is a divide. Um, mostly between pad and wheel users, but um, it's, it's yeah, it, it, it can be up in the air. So, what, what do you think? Uh, I used to hate it on 21, but as soon as the new cars have come in, it's I quite like it. Um, so, yeah, it's just trying to tune the setup set up before we get there. Um, because obviously, if you get it wrong, it's not the greatest circuit to drive, right? Okay, so. Anyway, we'll move on now, but yeah, once again, congratulations to you, sir. Uh, a very well fought for P2, and uh, yeah, enjoy your podium. Thank you. Yeah, and a big well done to Mag User as well, picking up from other people's, I would say, misfortune, but still recovered from P11 up to P2. So a good, day, good night's work for the Mercedes and in P1, I know someone's been building for this in the chat, having it at the ready, P1 this evening is Mr. Ooh Daddy, AMS Drive, <laughs> good evening to yourself. Good evening. <laughs> and don't worry, as that, that's the second time I've been clipped by Mr. Silverside Boy, so there you go. <laughs> I've been, I'm getting oh. a full catalogue of this now because I've clipped him in Belgium anyway. Incredible. Um, but I think one word to sum up that race, um, precision. Yeah, yeah, it was quite hard thought. Um, thought, yeah. I mean, first of all, you had that insane quality, uh, that battle between me and Drefo for pole. Um, it was way <laughs> super, super close. Um, and then the race. Um, obviously, I was getting got quite fortunate with both my rivals, Drefo and um, Sam, falling away, but. But yeah, they definitely both they gave me a good good run for my money, especially especially Sam on on those um, mediums, the mega pace. Yeah, and actually, uh, can I talk about them just in the in the, just in the next question? Um, mm. With the safety car coming out around, I believe it was lap eleven or lap twelve in the mm. in the race, forcing your hand to go to the mediums. Did you have any mm. worries that um, that you would have to pit for softs at the end? No, they they should. I knew they could do 18 laps, which with the safety car laps were was good. Um, so I wasn't too worried about them making it to the end. Obviously, it was quite like there was going to be another safety car anyway. Um, but yeah, after that first safety car pushed quite quite hard and got got the gap out, and then <laughs> there was another safety car straight away, which is a bit fortunate. And then yeah, I just didn't didn't have the grip, and the tyres ran way too hot. Um, but, oh yeah. well. I think that might answer a slight drop off in pace towards the end, just managing them to the end. But next week, as I mentioned to uh, to Sam, it's Japan, and surely the best momentum is with you going into going into uh, Suzuka. 
Yeah, I love Japan. Can't always get performance out of it, but um, I mean, it's probably one of the best tracks to drive. I mean, Singapore to Japan back to back is quite a quite a uh, duo for me. So I'm, I'm really looking forward to next weekend as well. Uh, next next week, so. Now there you go, and that does it for tonight's Singapore Grand Prix for Tier 1. And I'll hand back over to David for tonight's uh, round off of the stream. Yeah, thank you, Cruiser. And of course, congratulations to AMS Drive on his dominant performance tonight. Rounding out the stream, then, we've. Uh, yeah, we've had a pretty good race tonight, and well, yeah, I, I, it just kind of makes me want to drive later on in the week. Of course, we do have some extra races coming up tomorrow night, eight o'clock. We've got the tier twos going at it around Singapore, and Friday night once again, tier fours will be uh, navigating the circuit. We, we've had two dry races at Singapore. Surely we can't have all four. Surely not. One race has got to be wet. <laughs> uh, if you, if anyone's a betting man, bet it on tier two. Yeah, well, you you heard it here first, and it also means any tier twos. Um, yeah, it'll be uh, Cruiser's fault if it rains tomorrow. Um, but well. anyway, I think there's one thing left to do, and, and we all know what it is by now, and uh, that is, of course... Cruiser, my co-commentating partner, I think it's time yeah. for you to give us your driver of the day. It's going to be a tough one, I know, but... There, there is a few candidates, yeah. Obviously, I think the standout ones, um, Sam, giving us a fantastic battle for the lead, just uh, just lost control with a few laps to go. Mad user picking up second from starting down in P11, recovering from qualifying. But there's two drivers that really do stand out, that being AMS Drive for um, almost the perfect performance tonight, and Splitter Flipper showing great determination and a good recovery too to pick up P5. And uh, this is going to be tricky. If only I had a coin right now, I can do a coin flip. Right, you not eeny, meeny, miny, moe. I do have um, a coin. <laughs> right. This is no proper proof here, but David, flip the coin. Heads is going to be Splitter Flipper. Tails is going to be AMS Drive. Because both of them deserve it today. Right, so let's hope I don't bottle this. And our survey says Tails. And there you go. I don't know who that was. <laughs> <laughs> It was AMS, it was AMS Drive who was Tails, so there we go. Yeah, well there you go. At a flip of a coin, take nothing away, but yeah, uh, a real dominant, oh. dominant drive, mm -hmm. dominant drive tonight. And look, and look, look at the chat, David. We're two followers away from 500 followers on the Twitch channel. Oh, that is exciting. We might as that hit would be. 500 tomorrow. Yeah, looking forward to that. Um, I'll be tuning in. Make sure you guys are too for the tier twos. But for the meantime, I have been David Lowface tonight, joined by the very capable Cruiser1872. I will see you all tomorrow for the tier two race around Singapore. And from all of us here at FPRL, good night. Ooh, daddy. <laughs> <laughs>